Good day everyone! Welcome to Math with Teacher Justin. On today's topic, we're going to discuss converting rational exponent to radical expression. Okay, so, so let's identify the parts of a rational exponent and let's also identify the parts of a radical sign so that we have a better understanding on how to convert rational exponent to radical expression. So first, let's have this. Okay, if you have a rational exponent, automatic, you will have a radical expression. So here is the ra rational exponent. We have the base. We have the exponent, which is in fraction. Okay? Now, in the other hand, we have the radical expression. So in our radical expression, we have the following. We have the radical sign. We have the index. And we have the radicand, the one inside the radical symbol, and we have the exponent of the base or the radicand. Now, if you can observe, if you can observe, our base will still be placed inside the radical symbol. Our numerator, our numerator, okay, this one, is placed inside as the power or as the exponent of the one inside the radical symbol and our denominator will become the index of our radical symbol okay that's how you convert rational exponent to radical sign so again we copy the base place it inside the radical symbol okay the numerator of that one will be placed as the power of the radicand and the denominator will serve as the index of our radical sign okay so we will have an example okay let's have an example for example we're going to convert x raised to 3 over 4 to a radical expression so first thing that we need to do is to draw our radical symbol so it's very important to draw the radical symbol then followed by we're going to write the base inside the radical symbol so we're going to type or write x inside the radical symbol and next we're going to identify where are we going to place our numerator? So our room numerator will be the exponent of our radicand. So it will be x raised to 3 will be placed inside. And our in um, denominator, our denominator 4, will now become our index. So we will place 4 there. So we will have 4th root of x raised to 3. So this is our final answer. And Let's have another example. For example, we have 3 raised to 3 over 2. So we will convert this to our rad radical expression. So we have to write, okay, radical symbol. Okay, we will place our base inside the radical symbol. And then our exponent, the numerator of our exponent, will be our exponent of our base inside the radical symbol. And then our denominator will serve as the base. So since our denominator is 2, it is optional to write 2 in our index. We can place it or not. Again, the lowest index possible is 2. So no need for you to write it. That's why we call it square root. And so the index is 2. Okay? And let's have another example. For example, we have 4a and it is all raised to 2 over 3. So in this case, we have two elements in our group, which is 4 and a. So we can apply, apply power of a product in this situation. But instead of doing that, we can just treat this, this group as one variable. So first thing that we need to do is for us to draw our radical symbol. So we will place the base 4a. So we will treat this as a variable, yung bong group. So we have 4a as a group. Then we will place our numerator as the exponent of our base. And our, our denominator will serve as our index. And that's how our final answer. It will be the cube root of 4a. And they are all raised to 2. And that's okay. it. Let's have another example. For example, we have 5 times b raised to 3 over 5. Now here, 
we don't have any grouping symbol. Therefore, the number that is being raised by a fraction is the variable b only. Therefore, 5 is not part of our radical symbol. So please take note of that. It is important to look at the grouping symbol. So if there is no grouping symbol, then the other product or the other factors are not going to be raised by the fraction. Okay, so in this case, and in this case, we're going to we're going to separate five and b times b raised to three over five. Okay, and then we will still separate five, but this time we will convert b raised to three over five as a radical expression. So times we need to draw the radical symbol. Okay, place b inside the radical symbol and then the exponent which is 3 will be the exponent of the radicand and our denominator which is 5 will now serve as our index therefore our final answer will be 5 times the fifth root of b raised to 3 and that will be our final final answer okay let's have another example for example we have x squared y raised to 3 and they are all raised to 2 over 7 so in this case again if you have a grouping symbol we are going to treat them as a variable as one okay so no need for us to separate them or apply the power of a product rule. So let's have this as our example. First thing that we need to do is to draw our radical symbol. Draw the radical symbol. Then we will place the base as our radicand. So our base is a group x squared y raised to 3. Please do not forget to place them in a grouping symbol. Then followed by... We will now place our numerator, okay, which is 2, as the power of our base. So it is raised by 2. So 2. And our denominator, which is 7, will serve as the index of our radical symbol. So now, if you want, you can distribute the exponent 2 to each term. Okay, you can also write this answer. Okay, we have this. Okay, the seventh root of, I will also consider if you distribute the exponent to the basis or the radicand. Okay, so let's apply the power rule. Okay? Power of a product rule. So we will have x raised to 2 times 2 y raised to 3 times 2. Okay? And, and when we simplify, we will have for the 7th root of x raised to 4, y raised to 6. Now that we're done with our examples, it's your turn to try it. Please click the link in our description box and answer our practice exercises. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. That's it for today. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace.